Let's see what's new for SOLIDWORKS Drawings 2024. We'll begin by opening up the drawing for this mounting plate. Let's add some dimensions to this front view. Chain dimensions are useful for creating a stack of dimensions relative to each preceding feature. These dimensions now come in a line collinear, reducing otherwise manual cleanup steps. In tight spots where there might be overlap, a new system option automatically offsets dimension text. On a busy 2D drawing, it can be difficult to tell what entities a dimension attaches to. Now simply hovering over a reference dimension will highlight its attaching entities, whether they be model edges, construction geometry, or vertices. This improves drawing clarity and helps you carry forward your design intent from the model to the drawing. Sometimes you may need to manually override a dimension, but if somebody unintentionally overrides a dimension, I'm looking at you interns, uh, that can cause a lot of problems down the line. New in 2024, any overridden dimensions can now be highlighted with a user specified color. I'll use the property search to find it, and then all the way down at the bottom of the screen is the checkbox. As you expect, the choice to highlight color is set as a system option. I'll manually override this dimension to show the difference in highlight and then restoring one or more overridden values is easily done through the right mouse button. This is one of those features that you don't know you need until you really need it. Collaborating with other SOLIDWORKS users who may be on previous software versions can be a challenge. Similar to what we've shown with parts and assemblies, it is now possible to save your drawings back up to two prior releases. When you save the drawing, it will also collect any reference documents. Append a suffix or prefix or use the advanced options for additional control over file names and locations. I'll switch over to the subassembly drawing. I'll create a note to this ISO view. New for this release, the link to property dialog stays open so you can create text strings composed of multiple property links. This is a big time saver for creating compound notes. As you expect, when I switch the model configuration for this drawing view, the custom property information updates seamlessly. Changing the model configurations on these views caused a few of my reference dimensions to go dangling. Now you can simply right click on any dangling dimension and choose reattach. The red X indicates the entity is missing, so now just pick a new reference. Now my drawing is complete with a minimal amount of rework. Between quicker and clearer dimensioning, saving back to previous year versions, reference dimension highlighting, and quickly be able to reattach dangling dimensions, your SOLIDWORKS drawings will be able to be made quicker and with greater confidence than ever before. Enjoy using what's new with SOLIDWORKS Drawings 2024.